hello what's up youtube in this tutorial i want to show you how i'm able to get those nice and dramatic black and white portraits in photoshop so this is going to be how you can easily convert your images into black and white and get that nice and attractive black and white feel so usually most of you tend to just come here and go with the short way by just coming to the adjustments and you create a black and white adjustment layer so this can work to some point but uh, more often times it may not be the best way to convert your images into black and red. I'm just going to simply delete this. So usually when you're looking at an image, first of all, the reason as it looks or as to why it looks black and white is because all the colors are desaturated or most of the colors have been removed out of the image. So that is what you have to take into consideration. And for this case, I'm just going to show you how to remove those colors first and how to add a richer and better contrast to those photos later on after converting them or desaturating the colors out of them. So I'm just going to come right here to adjustments and I'm going to come right to my hue and saturation adjustment layer. So with this done, I'm just going to come to where it says master, make sure master is selected and here make sure you have the default of course. Then after doing this, just come to where it says saturation. And with the saturation, you know master contains all the colors within the image. So just come to saturation and simply take the slider out just like that. Just look at how nice the image has turned out to be. And the contrast is still there and richer. And in order to add or add a better twist to the image, you can simply come right here to your selective color. And since this is a black and white image, just come and click on colors right here and come and select black. So when you do that, you can come and intensify the blacks and make them darker. And that is going to make your black and white image pop. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it's going to add a pop to your black and white image. Then you can as well come right here to your brightness and contrast and you can add some slight bit of contrast because... Images tend to look better in black and white if at all or only if they have contrast and if at all the blacks are really richer and the bright areas are also still evident. So just look at the image right now. Let me show you a quick before and after before you switch off. So this is the before after. Just look at how nicely converted this image is and how it is also popping in black and white. So basically... This is what I do when I'm converting my images into black and white. And if at all you found this helpful, don't forget to like the video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If at all you have been watching and you're not yet subscribed to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.